Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday morning. I'm about to film my empties. It's funny as that, I don't know if you guys can see that behind me. I was going to wear that. It's one of the last remaining striped things that I own. Um, but then it was like, oh, the Badgers play tonight, so I have to wear, everybody at work will be wearing Badger stuff. So I'm about to film my empties video in my Badger sweatshirt. It's not very professional, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes you have to be casual. Um, so I came in to get some earrings, some basic earrings, these ones from Leah Sophia that I wear all the time, these little hoopy things. Anyway, um, I uploaded my footage overnight that I had on my camera from last week and the beginnings of this week. It's 37 minutes, so I have to, I have to be editing that here, um, after I fill my empties. And then on my lunch today, hopefully I'll get to, um, my empties video is for Saturday. So hopefully I'll get to edit that on my lunch so it's ready to go. So, let me put this on here. What is the deal? Um, boy, I gotta tell you, this week has like flown by. I have, I have no idea where it all went. Let's make sure I'm not wearing silver and gold, shall we? Um, I hope that you guys had a good week so far. And I really hope that I get that, once I get the the footage edited from today. I have, a sam I have an Hermes sample I need to try. Um, I'll come back to the vlog footage. Anyway, <clears throat> I went, I got, a friend of mine got me an Hermes sample, the one that everybody talks about, that Amber Nargile, I think is how you say it. And I didn't like it on me at all. I mean, it smelled nice, and I usually like those sort of deeper scents. Where is it? All right, that took me a minute to find. Anyway, um, the Amber Nargule, I just didn't like it at all. I wanted to. Oh my gosh, he gave me two of these? Wow. I was at the Hermes store in, um, it's not on Michigan Ave. Maybe it's not, I don't know. It's downtown Chicago. And was kind of giving things, giving things a little sniff. And the one I ended up really, really liking is this one in Vetiver Tonka. Um, smells so nice, but I want to, I was so convinced that I was going to like the Amber Nargulay that I almost just bought it, <clears throat> excuse me, without having worn it on me. Then when I wore it a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, there was just something about it that didn't work for me. So anyway, I'm going to give the, put this on, I'm going to go fill my empties and then I'll check back in. I got my memory card. And I was going to tell you guys, um... Recycling went out yesterday, and I'm filming my empties today. Bobby's not going to be happy. <laughs> whoops! Not whoops, actually. I didn't do it on purpose, but man, there's just, I just, there's just not enough time. I just got a little behind in my, in my travels and whatnot, so. All right, I'm going to film now. All right. What time is it? Oh, 6.39. That's not good. You know what that means? I was particularly chatty. I gotta put this stuff in recycling. Um, so yeah, I was particularly chatty. Oh, what are you gonna do? That just means I have to edit a little bit more. <laughs> Although I felt like I had all good information to share. So I'm not sure what I can edit. Anyway, now I need to edit for the vlog channel. Man, I love this. I'm totally ordering this. <laughs> What can I say? I love it. Um, what was I going to say? I felt like I was going to... Oh, for those of you that that make videos, do you sometimes get to the end of the video and think to yourself, whew, that's going to be a tricky one to edit because you talked too much. Yeah, this, by the way, outfit of the day. I don't have shoes on yet, but mm-hmm. Badger sweatshirt. This is a real thin one. I save a tank underneath it. And then Lane Bryant jeans. Seven for Lane Bryant. I don't love the regular Lane Bryant li line of jeans, but I like this one. All right, I'm gonna put on some shoes and edit. All right, I wanna show you guys really quick before I leave. It was warm enough yesterday that a lot of this melted. Not enough of it in my opinion, but hopefully the rest of it will melt today. So, with that, 
that I mostly edited. Sorry, the vlog that you're seeing before this one is longer than I like them to be. I know some of you like longer, longer ones, but some of you not so much. So apologize for those of you that don't like it. And with that, I'm going to go to work. All right, so it's Thursday night and we're watching the Badgers, but I'm going to see if we can zoom you in. Bob just noticed deer in the backyard. Sorry, the TV's probably kind of loud. Can you see them? I'm not sure if they'll focus for game. There they are. So, oh yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's some over there too. Anyway, so I thought I'd show you guys that. If I open the door, I have a feeling they will. I don't think they can hear me. They're fairly far enough away. There. Maybe it'll be clearer without the door. There. Yeah. Still the snow. It wasn't warm enough today to get rid of it. I don't even think it got to 40 today like it was supposed to. But, so it's halftime of the Badgers game. Badger game. And um, we're down by two. Yep. How do you feel about that game? Oh, yeah. They haven't seen you in a while, by the way. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> He's nervous. You're yeah. nervous, aren't you? Yeah. I'm a game ball. He's a game ball. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I would check in since uh, Bobby saw the deer and I was, um, I'd gotten up to get my SD card so I could edit my video for Saturday and I'm all cozied up here in my blanket. Yeah, so I'll check in really quick at the end of the game to tell you if we won, though you probably already know, but I'll check it anyway. Well, it was closer than we'd like, wasn't it? Yeah, but you know, one thing I never realized in the, you know, when you look at the brackets, if the brackets play out the way they're supposed to, and you're the number one seed, every time you play a game, you're gonna play a game, a team that's twice as good as the team that you just played before. If you think about it, you start one versus 16, then you play the eight team, then you play the four team, and now it, if things play out, they'll play the two team. So every team gets twice, you know, according to seeding, right. it's twice as, as good as the team you just played. That's yeah. Wise words for Bobby. I just tried them. <laughs> now that you understand how bracketing works. Oh, goodness. And with that, it's almost 9 o'clock. We are headed to bed, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But I just wanted to check in with a Badger victory. Yes. Too late for a victory, so it's time for bed. Right. Got to work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. Happy Friday. Actually, for you, happy Saturday. <laughs> Um, and I just finished getting ready. It's 20 after 6, which is good. I need to get to work. I was going to try to film this morning, but I really need to just get to work. At some point, I'll get ahead. I may have to skip some videos while I'm in New Jersey. I just don't know how I'm going to get it all done. But I'll figure out a way. <laughs> Either that or I think that um, Laura and I are working on a video we're going to film together. So that may be one that I edit it out and upload while I'm out there so I don't have to film it ahead. At any rate, I want to show you guys what I'm wearing today. First of all, this necklace and these earrings were a gift from my subscriber that I showed you guys. I don't know. I, I love, I've lost track of the vlogs. But I showed you a while back, and she did tell me that she does not have an Etsy store. She just makes them for fun. But I love this. I love the difference in the chunky chain over here and the thin chain over here. And then these earrings kind of go with the, with the little pendant down here. And then this is just yet another pair of <laughs> um, Lane Bryant 7 or 7 for Lane Bryant jeans. Blue tank top. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this sweater I got at Lane Bryant in the early fall. And it's here. I'll show you. I it's the one with the buttons down the side. I really like it. I have a lipstick in my pocket. On my face today, um, I have, actually, no, I turned my lights off in there. But I was going to go back into my makeup room so you could see it better. But I have um, the Camp Cosmetics Topinator, the Topinator, on my lids. I know that they came in because um, he posted a picture on their Instagram last night. So I think that they're going to be releasing shortly. So... 
Um, I'll list that information below if you want, if you're interested in it. It's a single shadow, which I really like, and it gives people the opportunity to try their shadows if you haven't yet. And um, it is $16.50. Not that this is a commercial, I'm just telling you. And on the rest of my face, I have the Rimmel Navy Blue Eyeliner on my top of my eyes, top of my eyes, my lash line and my waterline. And I'm wearing, um, I can't remember the name of the blush from Rouge Bunny Rouge. Anyway, I'll list it below and then I have a little Cam Cosmetics Revolution over the top of that. And on my lips I have one of the lipsticks that my um, friend and subscriber from Israel, Annette, sent me from Bourgeois. And it is in the number 31. It's matte. And then I put my Game On Lip Lava over the top of that. So, yeah. Um, Badger's one, as you guys know, which was good. And for some reason... I did not sleep very well last night. I do not know why. Um, this needs to go to the Goodwill. But I could not get out of bed this morning. It took everything I had inside of me to get myself out of bed. Um, and I didn't. we didn't go to bed that much late. I mean, normally we're heading... Everybody always wants to know because they get up so early what time I go to bed. I get up at 4 and I try to have my head hitting the pillow by 9 so that I get like 7 hours of sleep. Um... So usually we head into the bedroom about 8.30. Some of you are laughing. You're like, are you kidding me? It's my life. What can I tell you? So we'll head in. By the way, I'll show you what shoes I'm wearing. I'm wearing these. These are um, Jessica Simpson boots that I got at TJ Maxx last year. Anyway, so we usually head in about 8.30. And like I said, I like to have my head hitting the, hitting the pillow by 9 at the latest. And it was more, it was closer to 9.30 last night. But, um... I don't know, and I fell asleep right away, but man, I woke up a lot. I'm trying not to yawn. Whew, buddy. So there may be some actual caffeinated coffee in my future today. You know, I had a decaf coffee later in the day yesterday. I was talking to Laura, and um, we were FaceTiming, and I decided to have a cup of decaf. That was about 5 o'clock, 5.30. I went, is there any caffeine in, in decaf? Like, any at all? Like, maybe that's why. Like game. All right, I'm gonna put my boots on. All right, so that is what the boots look like on. And yeah, let's turn off some. <laughs> nice that I still have this there. Do you see that? <laughs> That's so funny. I put that up when I was steaming my jacket. I bought a coral blazer from Lane Bryant. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've done a clothing haul. Anyway, um, Coral Blazer from Lame Right. And I wanted to take it with me when I went down to Chicago. And um, it definitely needed to be pressed. And I was not going to take an iron to it. <laughs> so I went, um, I went, must have been Tuesday morning, the day before I left, to the Walmart before work and bought bought a steamer, which I had never had before. I've only ever had an iron. And it was pretty easy. It was, and it worked fairly well. This morning, by the way, I made one of my special K-cups that Lindsay sent me. And I thought it was just plain old coffee. And it, <laughs> it was a cappuccino or something. And I didn't read it properly. Oh, well, there's a bunny. And um, yeah, I had already put cream in my cup, so whew, I couldn't drink all of it because it was pretty sweet. Yeah, the bunny. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. He's right there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, beautiful sunrise starting. Yeah, it doesn't look much like March out here, does it? Especially not the end of March. Um, hmm. I was just thinking about the camper. Seeing that made me think of it. I was so excited. <clears throat> to go camping. Our first trip is first weekend in June. Normally we go the second weekend in June, but we had to switch it up um, because one of our friends has a family wedding or something, so we had to switch that up. Anyway, all right. I'm going to pack up my stuff here. Thankfully it's Friday. and uh, Oh, I know what I was going to say. We are going to... Um, 
We are going for fish tonight. I don't know if the whole harem is going, but for sure Kim and Wiser. And Carissa is iffy, depending on what's going on with her. And um, we are going up where we went for Valentine's Day to where our friends own that supper club up there. Um, it's a place called The Boarding House. And it's in Surrey, which is a little teeny tiny town. It's about 45 minutes from here. So, because Bob doesn't have to work tomorrow, yay, we are going to go up there. So, I'm sure there'll be some car footage. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I need to get gas. There'll be some car footage and um, fish shenanigans and <laughs> whatnot. So, yeah, that's what you will see when I see you next. Yeah, Bobby doesn't like this. He doesn't like any coffee cold. So, um, we are on our way to fish. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> are you going to be one word boy now? Or yep. One word, <laughs> one word stand. Um, what would you like to discuss the game last night now that you're a little more awake? We won. We did win. That's Anything all else to say? There's nothing. Well, it was a little too close for comfort in my opinion. Did it's, you watch? That's at the uh, time of the year. Wiser, did you watch? I did. Yeah. We're not going to win every game by 40 points. Well, they don't need to win by 40, but it could have been a little less close, in my opinion. Well, um, it's March Madness. This, it is March Madness. The snow is starting to melt, finally. I mean, seriously. I know I was whining about it this week. Most of snow is on. It is not. Now, for 14 real? to 18 are gone. You are full of water. Yes, you better be full of water because I can't, I can't even anymore. So, is it? I haven't even looked. Excellent. Why well, is this like our resident meteorologist? <laughs> she does. She pre yep. Normal people watch other channels. Why is it just watches the weather channel? She does, however, watch The Walking Dead. Yes. Which is really good. I, well, last time, last week, I thought was eh, it was okay. The end of it was good, and the beginning of it was slow. I thought. So we'll see. This is the season yeah, finale. This one better be it should be good. It's 90 minutes long. I'm going to get less sleep than I even normally get on a Sunday night. I know. Watch it again. It's rough. I watched the rerun. I watched I, The Talking Dead and then I watched do you? The Walking Dead. Oh, jeez. I mean, really wiser. So we are headed up to Surring to go to the boarding house, which is, I think I maybe mentioned that this morning. Um, it's a different place for fish. We went there on Valentine's Day. Um, not and, for fish. Well, not for fish. I had fish on Valentine's Day. Oh, you did? Uh huh. I had my mom. Oh, yeah, that's right. A small portion. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. We'll uh, take along the way. So this is what the, the boarding house looks like. They don't actually have rooms, but it's got this real cute little oh, front porch thing here. Maybe in a couple of years, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, don't be so sassy to the harem. So it's real cute. All right, so the kind of restaurant we're at is called the Supper Club. Most people don't know what those are. So this is a good example. This is a good example of the Supper Club always has a salad bar, which is over there, and soup, and a lot of times bread, which I'm amazed that Kim hasn't devoured. <laughs> She's going to cut that every now. Kim likes bread. Yeah, and an old-fashioned. I have water. Why is there a drinking Captain Coke? Old fashioned. So this right there, honey, point to your fried up bread. That right there is something that I don't, I've not, I haven't seen that at all several clubs, but around here pretty much they always have those, have that. I don't know what the actual word for it is, I just call it fried, I just call it fried up bread. And you put like some sort of cheese spread on it. <coughs> so he has like a horseradish cheese over there, or this one is garlic. Delightfulness. How's the homemade bread? Very good. Very good. <laughs> Kim cannot live without I'll bread. I'll probably put the garlic on my homemade bread. Well, yeah. It's good. It's just as good now. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. So you know, Bob cleaned his plate and then is like eating the rest of Kim's fish. <laughs> Wiser, how's your salmon? Um, phenomenal. She couldn't stop eating even though she was full up too. I was way full before I even <laughs> had one bite of it and then I continued to eat on and on. And Can we eat all of her fish except for yeah. the piece that Bob's eating? And then I'm following up with the yeah, cereal. She's eating yeah. the rest of her bread. Except for one piece that Bob got. <laughs> I had two. Why is her head a piece? I did oh, not did? have any. I did have two You didn't eat your hash browns, oh, Kimmy. No, I tried two of my fish. Yeah, good girl. And then this is my ribs that I ate three of. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to get my V mag tomorrow, folks. You're not getting anything. It's not sale. Two twenty nine. Not happening. Um, what are you going to do? You told me. Ugh. Why are you going to buy a V mag here for two hundred twenty nine dollars? Because it shoots a bullet that it's travels a, at three hundred feet per second, three thousand yards so per second. Does he just got four guns? I, uh, you just don't understand. I, don't, I, don't I have the text message that goes Hold that on, says, let me, let me per <coughs> It's like a G-string to pants. What do you wear? I wear a full gun. I don't know what's going on over here. It's boot camp. And I said, I think it's boot camp. I said, your favorite. Sun, she will not come sunset. to my class. Oh, jeez. It's the sunset. Says, on top of the soaring mountain. Kimmy's telling us the story. Yeah, we're on top of the soaring mountain, a.k.a. a hill. But it's very, yeah. That Surrey road mountain. used to be a lot steeper. It did, yeah. No, they leveled it out. Another little shot. Right yeah, I would like to point out that when I didn't have my camera out, we saw a whole bunch of deer. Now that I have the camera out, well, nothing. It is, however, pretty. Nice little sunset going on How many mm -hmm. acres do you think he owns here? Uh, I think it's 1,600. This is a deer, deer farm. Is it called a deer farm? Yeah, it's apple. Apple Creek. Apple Deer Creek. Farm. It says Farm. they're open August to January. Yeah. And what time is it? 7:30, and still light out. Delightful. And next week it's supposed to be like 50s and 60s. Wiser meteorologist uh, Wiser uh, has yes, informed us. <laughs> Grapes Ooh, keep Bob, her on the road, game. Try to, game. Get, say, try, try try to, try to keep her right over here. Rubber neck, keep her on the road. It's like Got anything to say there? We drove up to Andover <laughs> with my brother-in-law. Get my bee bag tomorrow. There we are. No. Apparently a bean bag is a kind of gun. Bean bag. Oh, bean bag. Well, that's what Kim thought you were saying. Bean bag. No, it's bean bag. Oh, bean bag. <laughs> bean bag. Too. We all thought you were saying like, bean bag. Why are you bean buying bag. a bean bag? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I could buy a bean bag too cheaper than that. Oh, good gravy. So, I'm going to vlog now. <laughs> so, there is the uh, lake. Shauna Lake. Very pretty. Still ice on it. Yeah. Huh, honey? It's making ice. I mean, what the hell? It's 25 hey, degrees. Hey, no swearing on the vlog. I can swear. <laughs> Good gravy. So, yeah, still ice. I'm hoping that. There we go. Somebody, I see that guy Somebody was drove out there today. Right. He was probably. Jeez. <laughs> Don't go out on the ice. If anybody I comes would, to Wisconsin, you, you want to walk out there? Let's no, go. I am not no, interested. Not on the edge over here. I man. feel like it's not in focus. Anyway, pretty. Well, it is 8 o'clock. We are home. What are you doing? Oh, dishwasher. He uh, was going to run it while we were gone and forgot. So, yeah. Not much more to say aside from it was a lovely Friday evening. Huh? Yep. It was good to go up there again. Yes. It was good. It was good. Not when they were so busy. Yeah, they weren't so busy. Like when we were there, it was on Valentine's Day, and every place is busy on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Any wise words from Mr. Game? Time to go to bed. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're going to bed. What are you going to do? Uh, maybe watch a little basketball. Nope, that's not what you're going to do first. I'm going to take a break tonight. You're not having a stogie? I am one before we when I got home. Oh! <laughs> Oh, and there you have it. <laughs> so I am, I don't think I said, I think I just said I was going shopping at the French Mart. I'm, and somebody actually did comment, um, sorry that's loud because he started the dishwasher. Um, somebody did comment that they hoped my friend wouldn't bail on me. And I'm actually shopping with a different friend than I was supposed to back in January when, the, when that didn't work out. I'm shopping with Sarah from Print, Polish, and Shine. I think you guys have heard me mention her before. So that's who I'm shopping with. Tomorrow we're going to meet... In the morning for some coffee at Starbucks, and then we're going to go to like TJ Maxx, and then into the mall and Sephora and stuff. So yeah, we are. No, we're not going to buy any bean bags or any bee mags. <laughs> oh, too funny. At any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a really great Friday and that you're having a good start to your Saturday. And we'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah. Bye.